Things are going to get a little bit wild and crazy. Willie Croft, Colby Copeland, front row. Here we go. Pitter patter. Let's get at her. Colby Copeland on the high side trying to get the initial race lead from Willie Croft. Croft going to keep his car on the bottom of the racing surface. Willie Croft will edge out. Copeland coming out of the second corner and going into turn number three. Lap number one. It'll be Willie Croft with the advantage over Colby Copeland. Two car breakaway from the rest of the pack is Justin Sanders settling for third. Dominic Selzy is fourth. Bud Kading rounding up the top five. Still on the high side coming from the top rope is Colby Copeland. And the 16 day is Willie Croft continues his dedication to the bottom. Croft now moving so more so in the middle of the racetrack and turns one and two as here comes Copeland chugging right along right rear up in the cushion nearly banging the boards and turns three and four but we stay clean and green three down and 27 to go the 41 of Dominic Selzy for third nearly a three car tango tango between the 69 of Bud Kading, 17 W Shane Golubic and the 2XM of Max Mitri is a great fight for third as Dominic Selzy to the inside of Justin Sanders Selzy looking to make it five in a row with the NARC Fujitsu General Racing Series. How will Willie Croft handle Aton as he looks for some real estate down on the inside? This may give an opportunity as this time around we're going to be less than 10 laps to go. 21 down, 9 remain. Croft tries to thread the needle downstairs underneath Billy Aton to place him a lap down. And it looks like a successful pass for Croft. Half a straightaway of the gap between first and second with one lap car. There's three cars in front of your race leader, Willie Croft, the 26F of Forte, 83V of Myers, and the 22X of Becker. Now Dominic Selzy hammering away on the inside of Kobe Copeland, trying to achieve second place as Copeland puts all four in the fluff on the high side of turns three and four, still retains second place somehow. And here comes Justin Sanders to try and reclaim some lost ground. Willie Croft, your race leader, dealing with the 26F of Shane Forte, still blazing a trail up on the high side. Colby Copeland, one of the only drivers trying to make some hay up there. Not quite able to make the proper clearance around the 26 of Billy Aton is down to his inside is the 41 of Dominic Selzy. And Sanders is on the inside of Selzy to try and retake third place away from him as we're five laps away from the drop of the checkered flag. Justin Sanders and Dominic Selzy nearly drag racing down the back straight into turn number three. And the white flag is going to come out. One more trip around the speedway for your race leader, Willie Croft. And for the first time in 2022, Willie Croft is a winner with the NARC Fujitsu General Racing Series. He is the fourth different winner in seven races.